the beginning of it, I left a, a, a couple areas uh, because I just liked how the the initial washes that I put down turned out, and it's almost uh, they weren't even really intentional. That there, I was kind of just mapping out the composition and trying colors, and there was just some. I think I was working on it on the floor, so they didn't drip as much, and so there were some areas where it just kind of the water fanned out, the paint fanned out, and it created some interesting effects and I kind of I wanted to leave some of that in and then you know I have some highly modeling areas where I'm I'm working a lot of paint marks and uh, modeling uh, colors together mixing straight on the canvas and I, I like juxtaposing those two ideas together and then uh, there's some areas where it's just paint marks and there there's more uh, space between each mark so that the, there's more underpainting showing through. And so a lot of, of the work I do, I try to have this kind of this, these three stages kind of, or three approaches of, of ways of working on a painting showing through on each painting. So Heart of Plenty, I think is a great example of that where I have underpainting working against heavily painted areas and some of those heavily painted areas is more modeling and and creating uh, some volume whereas other areas is more about mark making and just uh having inter having these marks intertwined and intermin intermingling so to speak so yeah the the contours seem to come first and and uh, you know the mark making kind of sets up the structure of a composition and sometimes those are removed and sometimes more are added and then um I, I i feel like i come in after that with the more modeling or uh, uh just various treatments of the surface it, you know it's it, it almost feels like there's two different things going on there um but there's still this same attitude of immediacy i'm working in acrylic so you know, working wet on wet, you got to work fast and um, you, you can't linger on an area too long without re-wetting it. When you keep re-wetting an area, then it either becomes a puddle if you're laying the piece down or it's dripping all over the place. And sometimes I encourage both those things, but other times I, I am just um, uh, modeling the surface and the shapes that those... Uh, contours are are suggesting or defining <laughs>